What's up guys and welcome back to uh, some days gone. This is going to be interesting. Nice little pipe bomb for these fools. A couple little headshots. Alright, that's what I like to see. We're back here at uh, at Copeland's camp. We have not, not been here in a minute. Oh shoot, this person's trying to run. Nope. I don't think so. Let's pull the shoddy out for this last guy. What's up, bro? Where are you going? Get down. Let's go, baby. But, uh, yeah, we're back at Copeland's camp. We haven't been back here in a while. I honestly, I really want to start off this episode. I really want to get, like, a new skin on our bike. I feel like we haven't really customized our bike or our weapons or anything. You guys know we're trying to try to work towards the merchant level two in, um, in the, the lost lake encampment but um over here this is where we get our bike upgrades so we're we're gonna see what kind of kind of craziness we can get into i'm gonna want uh i'm gonna want my sawed off back there thanks chief all right looks good to me i feel like the sawed off treats us pretty well overall not uh not too shabby got a med kit hey, let me in. honestly might as well use that Open the gate. All right, let's talk to the mechanic here. All right, so performance, we absolutely, one of the biggest things is the fuel tank. We need to upgrade to gas tank one. All right, so that's gonna give this us more fuel. It's gonna cost us 500 cents, but that's all right. Should we upgrade the frame? It's gonna cost us 450, oh, yeah, why not? A Take a little bit more damage. Ah, here we go, this is it. Custom accents, chasing Leon, the Copeland's encampment, that's actually pretty sick, or the Hot Springs encampment. I kind of... Dude, I kind of like the bright blue. I'm going to go with the bright blue. I feel like that's that's unique. All right, so we're going to equip that. Luckily, it doesn't cost us anything. And then we could even... Should we black out the frame? It's 10 cents. Ooh, sure. Anything else? Matte black frame looks good to me. We can do accent paint and stuff. But if we're, if we're using that library, we don't want to. Dude, that looks later. dope. All right, where's it at? Where's she at? You got her for me? Dude, she looks so good. That's... What I'm talking about right there. And now let's go talk to Copeland. Here we go. What up, Mark? Deke. Good. I got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Copeland. Busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by him. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where? Come Nobody's seen Boozer. Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Oh, Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on the supply really Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of him. Alright, so nothing really too exciting there. I mean, it's just, just a Ripper Camp side mission. Uh, we actually, before we came in, before I started this episode, we got a new update from, what's his name? Schizo, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was Schizo. So at the end of the last episode, he told us that he knew about some plane that went down in Ripper Territory. Well, we finally got the deets on that. Sneak into Ripper Territory to steal antibiotics. All right, so we're going to go ahead and select this mission. And then let's see. Oh, shoot. We're going to be going all the way over there. Do we have enough... Let's, we're going to, we're going to fast travel over to, um, does that make sense? Yeah, for the most part. We're going to fast travel back over to the hot springs camp, refill up on fuel. I think we have to refill up on ammo and then we're going to head that way. Dude, part of me wants to do like the, the max hardened frame update for this thing. The, the upgrade, whatever you want to call it. Can you imagine if we just had like a bulldozer bike that we could just run up on people and, and just run through hordes of zombies? That'd be so funny. I don't know if you can actually do that or not, but I think it'd be cool. Anyway, Camp Pioneer. Ooh. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Here we go. This is going to get freaky, boys. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is, I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. Hmm. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. I love how he's talking in code and stuff, and Deacon's just like, all right, idiot. So you mean this? We don't we don't need to be speaking in code. I don't think anybody's listening to us on this radio, but Here we go Ride to the crash site 
You want me to actually ride there? Like, it are we allowed to let the Ripper see us? Here we go! Woo! Let's go! Hit him with a headshot! Bro, I'm so confused right now! He's down. Okay, we're good. Was hoping for the double headshot there, but I guess we're just... Not getting any headshots on this guy, dude. Holy cow. Sometimes the headshots in this game are so rough. Got him. Alright. So I guess, uh, I guess going in with a stealth approach is not going to be happening. Okay. Gonna have to move this truck and then I think we want to keep riding with our bike. Try to come in quiet. Okay. Got him. Okay, that was good. Oh my god, dude. Wow! We got him. We honestly probably could have snuck past him. Now that I think about it, but hey, at least we got the, uh, the XP for it. Ugh. My fault. Gonna come through the woods here, try to be sneaky as possible. Keep the light off and just glide on in. gas can in the back of that truck if we need it. Aha. Okay, find the antibiotics. There's the- oh, dude, that's crazy. Found the downed plane. Oh, dude. No way! I don't even know what to do. He's running back that way. Hold on. Let's let's get a lay of the land here. I, I don't even know what to do. Ammo here. This is going to be helpful. AK-47. What do we have? 54 bullets? Should we take it? Where did the big mother trucker go? Remember that our shotgun's there, because we're going to be able to run back and get that. Are there any traps? Any explosives? Gas cans? If there's anything like that, we need to know about it. This is like when we fought that bear. We've got an audience up there. Hopefully they don't mess with us. The other problem is I have no clue where this... Where this dude went. Let's hit him with a molly. And then we're gonna hit him with the pipe bombs. What's it gonna take? Oh! He's on fire and mad. Okay. In hindsight, not the best plan. We're fine. 
Can he climb? Yes, he can. But he can't go through here. So the AK doesn't do a lot of damage. Can we make any more pipe bombs? No. We've got him about half health. The thing is, is if he, dude, we could just use this to our advantage. Hold on a second. Is our sniper reloaded? It's not. Okay, here we go. Come on, die already. You nice bitch. headshot, baby. Bro. How does he just keep on going? Get through. Get in some grass somewhere. Find some tall grass. We're behind the rock. Okay, here we go. If we can hit him one more time with a sniper shot, we're good. And he freaking saw us. Oh my god! All right, give me him, give him my, sh my shotgun back. I feel like the AK really didn't do much there. I'm going to be honest. It's only a level one, though, so I'm trying to get a level two weapon. I think a level two would make a big difference for us. Dude, what in the world was that? These things are getting stronger. We're going to start facing worse and worse enemies. If we didn't find that little... Oh, there was a bear trap and stuff over here. I'm an idiot. That would have been nice to know. If we wouldn't have found that little hole, we would have been so screwed. There's no way, dude. No no chance. That bear trap would have been clutch. Please, we'll fix him up. And then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm still so scared. Deacon St. John, you there? This is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Get what? Oh, God, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Dude, why do I feel like that's going to be something important and we just made a mistake? Sexy, sick air ramp moves, man. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm like, anxiety's on a 12 right now. That guy was, dude, he ripped the limbs off of his friend. Why? And then ate a chunk out of his neck. And then looked at us like we were a, a snack, bro. Wait, that's Deacon. Behind him. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Well, we did it! What was left of it, yeah. What was left? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. Dude, don't tell me. I'm not ready for this. I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site, the medical supplies. It's no big secret, Deke. I and Mike were negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Had that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. 
Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? <laughs> a drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. I mean, she ain't wrong. She's a smart girl, that's for sure. They definitely weren't going to be splitting that with us, though. That was very clearly... Not a lot so left. let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit that maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. I mean, that's cuts deep, girl. I don't appreciate that, but whatever. We got the medicine. I'm gonna hook my boy up as long as he's not already gone. A little bit worried about this. Sounds like it's a pretty urgent situation and it, it doesn't sound good. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. Look, go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? What listen, are you doing? Listen, no, we need to do arm. this and we need to do this right now. You what? No. Uh, Amputate? Don't you... F oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No! No! De no, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Wait! Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, this is bad. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gold. Oh! Oh, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and hold him. Dude, she's kind of a boss. I can't imagine being one handed out there and the zombie. He's not going to be able to ride anymore, dude. It's his throttle arm. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought. Hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you? Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of We're gonna kill a big mother sucker for that, girl. Better believe that. It was not easy. Dude, I'm still like a little freaked out by that guy. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! Oh man. Now it's time for the consequences. I heard what you did wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. 
the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. I mean, let's just take them out, man. Let's just go to war. I'm not against that. I don't like those guys. Who wants crazy devil worshiping, cutting, torturing people running around? You know what I mean? They're just as bad as the freakers. Let's just take them out. With other men's blood. Mission 100% complete. Iron Mike's trust is continuing to go up. We still need another like 10,000 or so. A little over 10,000 to be able to get those weapons we want. Not, uh, not bad, man. Alright. It's on a mission is coming up next. What is, what is that? Let's see what we've got going on. Uh, track down a Nero field research team. This is a part of our, our storyline with Sarah. Alright. Sounds good to me. New scope point available. Don't really need that right now. I think the only thing we want is we're probably going to refill our ammo. I feel like we've been doing that a lot lately. Go to our supplies. Ammo's full all the way across the board. Never mind. We're good. All right. Uh, let's ride out, boys. Let's see what this next mission is all about. I like the snow biome up here. It's pretty. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. Well, let's get in the bushes and get ready to. O'Brien. I told you they're not my friends. The creep on these guys. Okay, headed on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking Let me devices. Know the locked down. No, don't not this time. I'm already tracking this one. You guys got that? Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The freak that was tagging a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Then why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian out. Squad, check in. This sounds like 12 kinds of bad ideas right here, but we're just going to go for it, dude. Where's this cave? Oh, back there. Jesus, this is taking forever. I wasn't sure we were going to make it there, boys. This is so messed up. Hey, Doc. Yeah? I never got that. Got what? The whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now, let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. But before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show... The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, <sighs> expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. Cancer? Look what? At look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. 
What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Oh, okay. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get that one I mean, that's kind of what we've been thinking, but... Who's behind it is the question. Like, that, that answers nothing for us. We still need to figure out who's... Who's done it? I heard something. Yeah. I heard something. He's gonna go check that out. Anyone else hear that? Get him to go check that out, and we are gonna get out of here, dude. Home free, we're good. Oh my goodness. So, we now know officially that the... Well, not officially. We don't 100% know, but... Confirmed our suspicions that... This is no accident. It's not like a freak thing that happened. It's... This is... This is like weaponized or something. I just don't know... Who would be behind it and what their motives would be. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is? What it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Dude, come on. You can't leave us hanging there. Oh, boy. This is going to get old fast. <laughs> that was the first, like, truly, really bad one. I feel like, but, um, alright, not bad. We're gonna get out of here so we can stop getting chased. Lost link to Deacon St. John. Uh -oh. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. <sighs> yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Deacon out. I'm down to work together. That sounds good to me. So let's let's check this out. Looks like we are going to be going back uh, back this way. Return to Iron Mike's camp and talk to Ricky. Got a new bounty hunter mission. All right. Call me Deke the bounty hunter. Let's get it. You're there. Deacon St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Hey, Wait, what? Uh, feeling a, a lot of it, you know. Boozer's talking. Hey, what's going on? Boozer. Hey, uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only takes so much of this truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh, Addy told me how I'd be dead if <laughs> Remember how uh, Jack Open carved up. up that turkey That's last ripping. time we was all together? <laughs> he kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. The no, ghost limb. Worse than the rippers. If if you hadn't been there to to hold me down, I don't know what would have happened, Deke. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Uh, Deke, uh, sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, Get some rest, bro. Take it hey, easy. Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bad fucking around. Yeah, I've, I hear a bunk, uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Dude, I'm so happy Listen, he's okay. I'm so happy he's okay, man. He survived. Obviously, he's not going to be happy about it. He's a super proud dude. That was half of his problem in the first place. If he would have used that salve that we made him, then Ricky, he you said you had a job may have avoided the situation, hey, but... Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? <laughs> but 
red hair? No. <laughs> it was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Wow. Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Oh! Oh, well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. All right. Well, this is gonna be fun. I'm actually really looking forward to this. How are we looking, uh... Ammo-wise, we're looking all right. Looks good to me. Let's uh, let's do it, dude. Here we go. Gonna be able to take out a, a, a woman... I was gonna say beater, but he's not really a woman beater. He's a woman killer. He wears red snakeskin boots. And he chews tobacco. I feel like that's enough to go off of. And he's out here at this... Uh, the, the Camp Pioneer or whatever. That's that We just rode through there when we went to... To fight the Rippers cell. So. Not too far away. We're gonna go put in some work. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Well, at least we've got kind of a, a bit of cover from these guys. A bit of a distraction. Um, uh, gotta find the guy in the red boots. Also, it would be insanely helpful to find a gas can because we are under 20% on gas. Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Okay, so he was there and he goes this way. Ah, that's tobacco's bed. Oh. Motherfucker. Okay. More boot prints. Yeah, this way. Boot prints going this way. We've already cleared this area, so we're gonna be able to scan whatever we need. Looks like we've got more cigarette butts. Dude, this guy is. Wooden box. This guy is gonna die of cancer before we get to him. Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. <laughs> he pissed on a zombie. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. I don't blame him, dude. Looks like he's in the main camp building, I'm thinking. We're gonna be able to get in through the front door? Where the fuck are you hiding, Red? He's gotta be here somewhere. I swear I- Red boy, shot me! Someone's down! They're down! They're down! I see ya! Ripper Blade! We're just gonna have to go after him. Whoo! He's down. Okay, that's three of them. We're gonna have the whole camp on the outside coming after us here, I think, but that's just a part of the job. Dude, we walked into an ambush right there. We probably should have uh, thought that one through a little bit more. Okay. He went this way. Keys. I know one of these shacks. Huh? I wonder. If he could be in the counselor's office, huh? Hold on a second. I think we can come in through the roof. I see a little roof, little roof thing over there. Mr. Red Boots, exactly who I was looking for. Probably could have aimed a little bit better right there, but we're fine. There we Is there go. somebody else in here? I think there's somebody else in here. Keep on running around. Got him. I'll just take these. Wow. All right. We did it, boys. 
Couple shotgun shots to the face, and that's all she wrote. Let's go, dude. Loot these guys, make sure we got everything in here. I can't believe they were just hiding out inside the camp, the, the counselor's building, dude. That's crazy. All right, anyway. Looks like we want to return back home. Let's get back to our bike. We made things happen there, boys. Feels good, man. We, uh, we got it done. One less scumbag out on the streets. Now the only problem is making it home. I said that we wanted to find him, but we also wanted to find some sort of fuel. Uh, we didn't, we didn't find the ladder, dude. Hold on, let me see here. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, shoot. There's some houses and, houses and trucks up here on the right. What are they typically in? Like tow trucks? Is that a tow truck down there? Shoot, there's zombies though. Are you serious? Alright, we're just gonna hope for the best. We're gonna hope the bike makes it. Come on, baby. You can make it. Come on, old Betsy. Come on, old Betsy. Dude, she's not gonna make it. Zero chance. What do we even do? I know you can pay him a fee and they'll go out and pick up your bike for you. There's a bear and we're about to run out of gas. Dude, 350 meters, we can make it. Is there a quicker, is there a quicker way? Can we cut across the... No, that's water. Dude, we're gonna run out of, I'm, I'm coasting, I'm coasting, I'm coasting, we're fine. Just keep the momentum. We're on the boardwalk. We made it! Let's go, dude! I'm gonna run this baby bone dry. We're gonna see what happens. I think she just shut off. We are gonna, oh man, mechanics and repair, repair and refuel your bike for free. Uh, oh, for a fee, the price adds up, so take care of your bike when you can. Walking, your bike is idle, you can walk it forward or backward. You can walk your bike as long as the path isn't too steep. Well, take a look at this. Hello, Mr. Mechanic. Dude, that couldn't have been more perfect. Are you serious? No, I, I don't even want to see the Look bill around. on this gas, though. Fill your bike up. 300 need. credits. I'll fill her up. I mean, sure. we don't All really right. have a choice, dude. We had to do it. All see right, anyway. Talk hey, to old girl over hey, here. Ricky. I got that was so smooth. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let them know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. You got you got 300 bucks for me, at least? So I can... Oh, yeah, we got paid. We got paid, baby. It was worth it.